great news for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. Congress has confirmed a one-time $2,672 deposit will be in bank accounts this Monday. In this video, we will provide all the essential details you need to know. Eligibility Find out who qualifies for this payment. Payment schedule Learn exactly when to expect the money in your account. Impact on benefits Understand how this deposit affects your current benefits. We will also address common questions and concerns to ensure you're fully informed and prepared. This is a significant financial boost, so make sure you don't miss out on this update. Stay tuned for all the important information. Congress has recently confirmed a significant financial measure that is set to impact millions of Americans. A one-time deposit of $2,672 is scheduled to hit bank accounts this coming Monday, targeting beneficiaries of Social Security, Supplemental Security Income SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, and Veterans Affairs VA programs. This unexpected financial boost comes at a time when many Americans continue to face economic challenges, and it's particularly aimed at supporting some of the most vulnerable populations in our society. The announcement of this deposit is part of a broader context of government efforts to provide financial relief in response to ongoing economic pressures. In recent years, we've seen various support programs implemented, from stimulus checks during the COVID-19 pandemic to cost-of-living adjustments for Social Security recipients. This latest measure appears to be a continuation of these efforts, specifically tailored to address the unique challenges faced by individuals who rely on federal benefit programs. For such a deposit to be confirmed by Congress, it would have gone through a complex legislative process, likely as part of a larger bill or as standalone legislation focused on providing relief to specific beneficiary groups. The fact that it has been confirmed suggests it has successfully navigated this process, reflecting a recognition of the pressing needs of these beneficiary groups. Understanding who qualifies for this one-time deposit is crucial for potential recipients. While full details of eligibility may not be available, it's likely that current recipients of Social Security Retirement Benefits, SSI, SSDI, and various VA benefits will be included. Eligibility for each of these programs has its own criteria, ranging from age and disability status to service history for veterans, there may be additional criteria for this specific deposit, such as income thresholds or residency requirements, though these details await official confirmation. The amount of $2,672 is significant, especially for individuals and families who rely on fixed incomes. To put this into perspective, it represents about 1.4 times the average monthly Social Security retirement benefit, nearly three times the maximum federal SSI payment for an individual, and about 1.8 times the average monthly SSDI benefit. For Virginia beneficiaries, the impact varies widely depending on their specific benefits, but it represents a substantial boost for many. The distribution method described as hitting banks this Monday suggests that the deposit will be made electronically through direct deposit to the same accounts where beneficiaries normally receive their payments. This method offers advantages in terms of speed, security, and convenience. For those who typically receive paper checks, there may be alternative arrangements, such as the issuance of prepaid debit cards or the option to set up direct deposit for this payment. The potential impacts of this deposit on recipients are multifaceted. For many, it could provide immediate financial relief, allowing them to pay off outstanding bills, catch up on rent or mortgage payments, purchase necessary items, or build emergency savings. It could also open up opportunities for longer-term financial planning, such as investing in education or job training, making energy-efficient home improvements, or starting a small side business. Beyond the tangible financial benefits, this unexpected windfall could have positive psychological effects, reducing stress and anxiety about financial matters and improving overall well-being. However, the deposit may also present some challenges. For SSI recipients, in particular, a sudden increase in resources could potentially affect their eligibility for other means-tested programs, Recipients should also be aware of any potential tax implications, although one-time government payments are often not considered taxable income. Unfortunately, announcements of government payments can sometimes lead to an increase in scams targeting beneficiaries, so recipients should remain vigilant against fraud attempts. The distribution of this one-time deposit to millions of beneficiaries can have broader economic implications beyond the individual impact on recipients. 
It could have a stimulative effect on the economy, increasing consumer spending and potentially supporting job creation through the multiplier effect. Certain sectors, such as retail, healthcare, and home improvement, may see more significant impacts. However, there may also be concerns about potential inflationary pressure, especially if this deposit is part of a broader trend of increased government spending. For eligible beneficiaries preparing to receive this deposit, there are several steps to take. It's important to verify that the bank account information on file with the relevant agency is current and correct. The recipients should monitor their accounts closely on the scheduled day of deposit and be prepared for potential delays. Planning for the usage of these funds before they arrive can help ensure they're used in ways that provide the most benefit. It's also crucial to be aware of any implications for other benefits, particularly for SSI recipients who need to consider resource limits. As with any large-scale government program, this one-time deposit is likely to generate debate and criticism. Some may question the fairness of limiting the deposit to certain beneficiary groups, while others might argue that one-time deposits don't address underlying issues. There may be concerns about potential inflationary effects or questions about fiscal responsibility given the size of the expenditure, the eligibility criteria and the precedent this deposit sets for future support programs are also likely to be topics of discussion. Looking ahead, the implementation of this one-time deposit could have significant implications for how support programs are designed and delivered in the future. It may set a precedent for future targeted relief efforts and provide valuable data on the impact of direct cash transfers to specific populations. The ability to quickly distribute funds to millions of beneficiaries also underscores the importance of robust technological infrastructure and government benefit systems. In conclusion, while this $2,672 time deposit offers immediate relief and potential economic stimulus, it also raises important questions about the nature of government support fiscal policy, and the long-term needs of benefit recipients. As the deposit is distributed, it will be crucial for recipients to stay informed about official guidance, be prepared to make the most of this financial boost, and remain aware of any potential impacts on their overall benefit situations. This measure represents a significant effort to provide support to vulnerable populations, and its effects will likely be closely watched by policymakers and economists alike as they consider future approaches to economic support and social welfare programs. The ripple effects of this one-time deposit will likely extend far beyond the immediate financial relief it provides to recipients. It may spark broader conversations about the adequacy of current benefit levels and the need for more comprehensive reforms to social safety net programs. Policymakers may use this as an opportunity to reassess the effectiveness of lump sum payments versus incremental increases in regular benefits, potentially influencing future policy decisions. For many recipients, this deposit could serve as a catalyst for improving their overall financial health. It might provide the means to address long-standing financial issues or invest in their future in ways that weren't previously possible. Financial advisors and community organizations may see an uptick in inquiries from beneficiaries seeking guidance on how to best utilize these funds, highlighting the importance of accessible financial education and counseling services. The timing of this deposit could also have significant implications. Depending on the current economic climate, it might help buffer against rising costs of living or provide a boost during a period of economic uncertainty. The impact could vary widely across different regions of the country, considering variations in cost of living and local economic conditions. This geographic disparity in impact might inform future discussions about the need for more localized or targeted approaches to financial assistance. From an administrative perspective, the execution of this deposit will test the efficiency and robustness of government payment systems. Any hiccups or successes in the distribution process could inform future improvements in how benefits are delivered. It may also highlight the need for better coordination between different government agencies responsible for various benefit programs. The public discourse surrounding this deposit could shed light on societal attitudes towards government assistance and social welfare programs. It may reignite debates about the role of government in providing financial support to citizens, the balance between targeted and universal benefits, and the most effective ways to address poverty and economic inequality. For researchers and economists, this deposit provides a unique opportunity to study the effects of a substantial, one-time cash infusion on a specific population. The data generated from this event could inform economic theories and policy recommendations for years to come. 
Studies might examine how recipients use the funds, the short-term and long-term impacts on their financial well-being, and the broader economic effects on communities with high concentrations of beneficiaries.